Hello, good evening, good day. Just a trigger warning topics about DV and SA. If you are familiar with those acronyms, uh, they will be discussed here. And also, under Section 105 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Chantal, you dick! Bitch, you made a fake account to stalk him and even admitted to reporting him to the police and then taking back the report so you could press charges but sleep with him. That isn't PTSD. Don't yell at your audience and take it out on them. I'm effing furious. She has the audacity to be so mean to these people who keep giving her second, third, and 85th chances. They say go outside and get some air and she screams at them. You absolute trash bag. You are the abusive person right now. You constantly use them for money and make promises and you make me freaking sick. Oh my gosh, I'm about to rage out. How dare she straight up treat her audience like punching bags for her own bad actions. This bitch. There are only five people so I don't even know why I'm live right now. Those five people are trying to comfort you and you are screaming at them and now wondering what the point of being live is if you don't have a giant crowd to abuse. You are in THE withdrawal, you dick. Thank F she got off live. Chantal, you are a giant human ass. You consume and take and take from people and the world around you and when people hope to get something out in return, friendship, family, content, you only act like shh, treat them like shh, and you produce shh. Here, here, have a hug, have this virtual hug. I hate it here, I don't like abusers. I fight for what's right, was unwilling to hear out black people about microaggressions, has targeted one creator out of pure hatred, has doxxed multiple people, is with a woman who used to harass her and her children. I don't want to go through that forever, Lily, and I can't. <laughs> Good news! You won't go through that forever. Soon you'll be back with N and D having sweet dreams and peak and pie as you continue to make a mockery out of DV and SA. See quoted tweet. If you only you could understand or feel what PTSD is like when you don't want to F your abuser again. Hashtag foodie beauty. Didi was trying to get me to get the charges dropped too. She was like, but Chantal, you need to, you can't go and say, like I wanted to get the restraining order dropped but not the charges so I could sleep with him but still charge him. Oh, fuck, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. Did you hear what I just said? Like what? What? No, erase that. I need sleep. But he and right. Stop drama dumping on your VIBs, weaponizing the police against Nader when it suits you, and wasting resources that other people need. One in four women will experience DV in their lifetime. Thirty percent will experience SA at least once. So, f you. Hashtag foodie beauty. No, I don't have to, Abra. I can talk about whatever the fuck I want. If it's too much for you, get the fuck out of here. No, it doesn't matter, Tessa, if you've told me for months. Every fucking person who goes back in a shitty relationship. Do you think they listen to people? No. So fuck off, too. Jesus Christ. It's fucking not easy to leave somebody that you fucking have feelings for, that you've done so much for for 10 months, and who's fucking lied to you, telling you they love you. You don't know anything about the relationship actually other than the shitty things I've told you you don't know fuck all you don't know
Yeah, what's up? Stop using statistics as an excuse to continue going back and forth for fun. You have no idea what it's like. Hashtag foodie beauty. I said earlier, while the wife and I watched her all happy and so upbeat that she was gonna fall apart and slide into darkness. Wife is new to the Chantal verse. Didn't believe me. I wanna wake her ass up and tell her I was right. Ha <laughs> ha. She truly wants to be a victim on something. Anything. We don't know all. BS. If he loved you, he would have claimed you publicly. Things said in private, we said to appease. For I me, mean, it's hard to understand someone complaining while on a tropical island. Well, people don't understand what I'm going through then, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to have a good time. It's not my fault, right? I've been through a lot of fucking traumatic shit in the past year that I'm just starting to realize, actually. Am I the only person who's been in a fucking abusive relationship in the world or what? I guess. Yeah, I did love him. What, what? Am I a fucking bad person for that? Apparently. Apparently. God fucking damn it. When are you an evil person for loving somebody? When the fuck did that come become a thing? Jesus Christ. I need to get the fuck off the internet. I need to get the fuck off this planet. I need to move Mars. <sighs> How does my location affect my pain exactly? Like, not just that, but like, it does help being here a little bit, but not really, because I miss my fucking, I'm out of my element. It's more stressful, actually, than anything. I don't know. Statistics, as mentioned, to debunk Chantal Marie's claims. Fact sheet, intimate partner violence. If you are in an emergency situation, please access 911 in Canada for emergency services in your area. If you are outside the 911 service area, please access available emergency services or call a crisis line in your area. The facts. The government of Canada is working to increase its knowledge about this form of violence. Police reported data show that women are overrepresented among those who experience intimate partner violence, including among victims of intimate partner homicides. As is the case with many forms of violence, those who experience IPV often do not report it to the police for a variety of reasons, including fear of stigma slash shame, the belief that abuse is a private matter, fear of court system intervention, or a lack of trust in the criminal justice system. Here are some key facts. As of 2019, police reported data. In Canada in 2019, of the 107,810 people aged 15 and over who experienced intimate partner violence, 79% were women. As in previous years, 2019 rates of intimate partner violence were more than 3.5 times higher among women than among men, 536 versus 149 per 100,000 population. Self-reported data as of 2018, overall 44% of women who had ever been in an intimate partner relationship or about 6.2 women aged 15 and over reported experiencing some kind of psychological, physical, or sexual abuse in the context of an intimate relationship in their lifetime since the age of 15. More specifically, women were significantly more likely than men to have experienced any form of intimate partner violence, including physical abuse, 23% versus 17% respectively, mm, abuse, 12% versus 2%, and psychological abuse, 43% versus 35%. Women relative to men were considerably more likely to have experienced the most severe form of IPV in their lifetime since the age of 15, being made to perform acts they did not want to perform, 8% versus 1%, being confined or locked in a room or other space, 3% versus 0.5%, being forced to have 10% versus 2%, being choked 7% versus 1% and having harm or threats of harm directed towards their pets 4% versus 0.8% Among people who have experienced intimate partner violence in their lifetime since the age of 15 women are about four times more likely than men 37% versus 9% respectively to have ever been afraid of a partner. 55% of women who experience physical 
or sexual intimate partner violence fear the partner at some point being afraid of a partner can indicate intimate partner violence that is more coercive more severe and more likely to reflect a pattern of abusive behaviors women who have experienced physical or abuse before the age of 15 were about as twice as likely as women with no such history to have experienced ipv either since age 15 67 percent versus 35 percent or in the past 12 months 18 percent versus 10 percent among people who experienced ipv in the 12 months preceding the survey women were twice as likely as men to have experienced at least one form of ipv on a daily or almost daily basis 12 percent versus six percent respectively three in ten 29 percent women 15 to 24 years of age reported having experienced at least one incident of intimate partner violence in the 12 months preceding the survey more than double the proportion found among women between the ages of 25 to 34 or 35 to 44 and close to six times higher than that among women 65 years of age or older mm. one in five women and one in 71 men in the united states have been mm, in their lifetime almost half of female 46.7 percent and male 44.9 percent victims of mm, in the united states were mm, by an acquaintance of these 45.4 percent of female mm, victims and 29 percent of male mm, victims were mm, by an intimate partner stalking 19.3 million women and 5.1 million men in the united states have been stalked in their lifetime 60.8 percent of female stalking victims and 43.5 percent of men reported being stalked by current or former intimate partner mm side a study of intimate partner homicides found in 20 percent of victims were not the intimate partners themselves but family members friends neighbors persons who intervened law enforcement responders or bystanders 72 percent of all murder sides involve an intimate partner 94 percent of the victims of these murder sides are female children and domestic violence one in five or one in 15 children are exposed to intimate partner violence each year and 90 percent of these children are eyewitnesses to this violence economic impact uh, victims of intimate partner violence lose a total of 8.0 million days of paid work each year the cost of intimate partner violence exceeds 8.3 billion dollars per year between 21 to 60 percent of victims of intimate partner violence lose their jobs due to reasons stemming from the abuse between 2003 and 2008 142 women were murdered in their workplace by their abuser 78 percent of women killed in the workplace during this time frame physical mental impact Women abused by their intimate partners are more vulnerable to contracting HIV or other sexually transmitted infections due to forced intercourse or prolonged exposure to stress. Studies suggest that there is a relationship between intimate partner violence and depression and suicidal behavior. Physical, mental, and sexual and reproductive health effects have been linked with intimate partner violence including adolescent pregnancy, unintended pregnancy in general, miscarriage, stillbirth, intrauterine hemorrhage, nutritional deficiency, abdominal pain, and other gastrointestinal problems, neurological disorders, chronic pain, disability, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, as well as non-communicable diseases such as hypertension, cancer, and cardiovascular diseases victims of dv are also at higher risk for developing addictions to alcohol tobacco or drugs no you're not the only person who's been in an effing abusing relationship in the world how many times will she just realize everything that happened to her it is becoming a weekly thing with her 
You're evil for constantly going back and dumping all your trauma on everyone else. They never should have given you your channel back, you unhinged ingrate. How do you mean obviously? See? With your stupid fucking accusations again. How are we in contact? No, we're not, actually. Like, I, like, would send him, like, thousands of messages calling him a motherfucker, but that was it. besides the weekend how could you describe getting like thousands of texts from one single person over let's say a month Chantal visited the police station February 24th even if those texts weren't calling you a mother effer it sounds pretty abusive to me hashtag foodie beauty imagine the senior citizens in the room next door to foodie beauty right now Actually, they probably effing. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's all alone in her room, crying, throwing up, pooping. They're probably giggling like school children imitating her. Hopefully, their hearing aids are out so they don't have to hear this shh. I've been thinking that same thing since she got there. I swear, if she doesn't lower her damn voice, she shh on her blessings.